Welcome back to the First Law Fitness. On today's episode, we're going to be making some overnight oats with the Ninja Creamy. Check it out. All right, so we're making some overnight oats, and we're going to make them frozen for the Ninja Creamy. We've got some Fair Life milk for our 2% reduced fat, high protein milk. We've got some whey protein powder. We've got rolled oats, and we've got non-fat Greek yogurt. We're also going to be using a nice mango. So here we go. High protein overnight oats. If you want to make this recipe later, then take a screenshot now or pause the video now and write down these ingredients so you can make it on your own time. I'm going to start with prepping the containers with milk, adding protein, making sure that's all mixed up first. I'm gonna do one cup of milk. using vanilla protein powder. I'm gonna make sure it's all mixed up first before we put in our other ingredients so it doesn't get too clumpy or too hard to mix. Next up, we're gonna mix in a cup of non-fat Greek yogurt. All right, so measuring out a cup of Greek yogurt. All right, next up, we're gonna mix in our rolled oats. We're gonna be using half a cup for each. going to be some fruit. I'm going to speed the video up a little bit here so you don't have to watch me slowly peel my mango. All right, using a vegetable peeler here to get all the skin off. One of the great things about cooking is that it's so much fun. You know, you get to be creative, have a little bit of fun, and 
it's challenging as well. So it's a nice slippery fruit. So as you're chopping it up, be careful. Chop. Take your time. Make sure it doesn't fly off the cutting board. Make sure you don't cut yourself. Mango is a, a slippery, slippery fruit. Once you get that skin off. Getting the fruit chopped up all into a bunch of small pieces. Now I'm gonna add it in. Not gonna add any sweeteners. This is gonna be our test to see how tasty they are without adding in. Most people add in some maple syrup or extracts. I'm thinking we might not need all that since we got in some fruit. Mixing it up a little more. Let's go throw these in the freezer. Let's throw them in the freezer overnight and we'll blend them up tomorrow. Welcome back. 36 hours later, we've got our overnight oats frozen in this block. We're gonna be adding to the Ninja Creamy. All right, so we've opened up our overnight oats. It's been frozen for 36 hours. It's got the mango, the protein, all the good stuff in there, the Greek yogurt. All right, let's throw it into the creamy. We're gonna blend her up. That's right, we remember how to do this. <laughs> Going in. We're gonna turn it on. We're gonna plug it in first. We're gonna do the top. All right, so we got the creamy turned on, putting in our stuff. We're gonna blend up the whole thing. What, what should we set it to this time? Mm hmm, hmm, maybe like a uh, light ice cream. Let's, let's spread. So we just got done spinning. Let's pull it out. Let's take a look. All right. Okay. Usually looks a little granular and dry at the top. So we add in a little milk and then we do a respin. Oops. <laughs> We just got done our respin. Let's check it out. And that looks pretty spun. That looks spun very well. So here's your opportunity to add mix-ins if you want to your overnight oats. Maybe we'll add some nuts. Do we have any nuts? All right, we're gonna go no mix-ins with this overnight oats. Let's try it out. Whoa. Nice. All right, so we've got our creamy made overnight oats. Let's try it out. Wow. That's just like oatmeal yogurty frozen yogurt for breakfast. I love it.
Here's our macronutrient profile for this overnight oats in the creamy. It's coming in at 550 calories with 65 grams of protein, 55 grams of carbs, 8 grams of fat, and 5 grams of fiber. We each had about a quarter to a third of that, so about 175 calories per serving. This is really great, and it tastes amazing, and it's really easy to make. Enjoy this and try it today.